Hey guys, this is Proganista uh, on a Saturday morning. I got Jersey out for a walk with her sweater because it's still cold out. Uh, you can tell people have been working on their yards, but it's still cold out here, y'all. It's actually freezing. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, introduce a video that I took on yesterday, but for some reason, I was recording and none of the footage when I first started recording, um, you know, I don't know what happened to it. But in that video, I was telling y'all, hey, how y'all doing? I was checking on people because we had an earthquake here yesterday. My girl, Tina, checked on me, y'all. Tina, she was in dialysis and felt it. I felt it. Uh, in that video, I was telling you guys I had taken Jersey out for a walk and it was time to go back in the house. And when I was trying to get her to go back upstairs, Jersey was like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. And then, y'all, within seconds, uh, once I did get her to go upstairs, the earthquake happened. So Jersey was like, I tried to tell you. Yeah, so we have, uh, you know, survived the earthquake that we had that morning. And then within the morning, I'm sorry, within the day, we did feel a couple of, no, we felt an aftershock. Mirabella felt the aftershock. I had a repairman here. I didn't feel it, but she did. And sure enough, she went on the uh, uh, internet and other people felt it also. So yeah, uh, just introducing a video that I did on yesterday. And also I'm gonna put probably some footage that I did back in March. I went to turn seven. I have not been to turn seven in a while since that video, since March 26th. So yeah, just trying to clear my phone out. Come on, Jersey, let's go. Just trying to clear my phone out on this Saturday, on this cold Saturday. We got a coat on. Yeah. She's smelling something today, y'all. Or you just, when you ring it, wait, what happens when you ring it? When you ring it, I guess it vibrates a little bit. Y'all, I just walked in the house, came coming back. I think that my doorbell thing came off because of the earthquake on yesterday. Um, maybe just the little earthquake maybe shook it. And now when I rung it, it just kind of went boom. Yeah, yeah we need to. Change that with Mirabella getting ready to put it back up there. All right, anyway, y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Okay, y'all, we hit the jackpot. It is windy out here. Well, I got a $7 cash reward from Walgreens. So I got in on the deals. Let me see if this is really a deal though. Let me make it sure in my head. But y'all, these were only $2, yeah, for 14. And I just thought about getting these for Mirabella to go to school. We're going to, um, probably the college that Mirabella is going to, a top choice of hers. She has a choice, which is good, but a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I was trying to make that parallel to her on yesterday. One of the colleges that she really, really, really wants to go to has not really let anybody know. Um, and if you know, you know, <laughs> okay. Uh, this college does have a tendency of dragging their feet. They did also with Magnolia. So much so that they didn't let Magnolia know it was about two weeks prior to uh, graduation. So, you know, we still are in that process, uh, but this weekend we are going to visit said school. She actually has auditions. So she got accepted with her grades to this particular college, but she also wants to try out for their uh, School of Performing Arts. And she's doing that um, this weekend. And she might have an opportunity to get both of the scholarships, which would be really great for her. Yeah, really, really great for Mirabella. It would be almost a full ride for Mirabella. Yeah. And again, this bird in the hand, <laughs> you're trying to reach for that bird over there in the bush. We got a bird in the hand. Hallelujah. And and you know what? God said, that's what you prayed for, Fruganista. So y'all yeah, be specific in your prayers. But I, they had a lot of these in here, y'all. And this is a perfect size I'm going to go to school with. Now, this is the uh, detergent of choice for me in my uh, high efficiency uh, machine. Um, this is what I've been using forever. I used to use uh, not the liquid pods. I used to use the granular pods, which I really like. They don't sell those anymore by Arm & Hammer. The liquid uh, I had a repairman tell me the liquid is what bothers the high efficiency machines and generally all of the machines. When you mix liquid with the water and if you use a um, uh, like a fabric softener, all of that is sticky and it's just the perfect breeding ground for the gunk and the mildew and the mold and all of the yucky stuff, right? So he told me 
when in doubt, always try to use a dry um, detergent. And that's what I was using. My pods were really good. But again, they stopped selling the dry pods. So I use the liquid pods and they've been doing so far so good. And he also told me another thing, uh, you know, wash clothes like we used to wash when our mothers were washing our clothes. They use bleach, not a bleach alternative. Bleach kills that mold inside those machines, okay? So when you're doing your whites, he told me you don't have to do it every cycle you do whites, but every once in a while, make sure you get some bleach throughout all of those pipes and crevices in your machines and you won't be bothered with that smell and stuff. Yeah, but at any rate, y'all, uh, I bought these. I bought uh, five of these. This is the fresh scent. 14 of these for $2, $1.99. I picked up five of these. And then, yeah, so this can go uh, with Mirabella to school, you know. And then I picked up five of the other scent. Y'all, this is the Fresh Burst scent. Five of these also. So that's 10 plus 10 is 20. Okay. And then, just for GP, I was thinking about four Mirabella to use at school. She'll be using their washing machine. So this is great for high efficiency machines. This is 28 loads, which is a better deal than that for $2. So I picked up these two. I picked up the sensitive skin and I also picked up the clean burst scent for $2 with these. So I spent like $22, right, uh, with tax. So technically my savings was $71. I love seeing receipts like that. With tax, it was $23.88. No, with tax, it was $25.46. And then I picked up a uh, $5, no, $7 off. So if you subtract $7 from the $25, that's even less than that. So I spent like $18 on that, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. There we go, a saving of 75%, not bad, not bad at all. And that'll come right on time. I'm gonna save this. Like I said, I'm never really in Walgreens a lot. This is valid for seven days and it just says $7 cash reward when you spend $25 on your next in-store purchase. Yeah, I'm gonna put these here. I'm gonna go inside of Sprouts next. Pick up Jersey or chicken. I was telling y'all, she wasn't really feeling well. She's been, we've been had bad weather and Jersey doesn't do well with thunder. And I think the day I wasn't home with her, it thundered and it spooked her. And she's never been spooked more for, you know, than a day, but it spooked her. And um, she just kind of was shaking. Uh, she is a chihuahua, so, um, you know, she's part Chihuahua. So when she does get scared and frightened, y'all know how Chihuahuas are, they will shake. So she's been having like a tremor for two days in a row. And this morning when I left her, uh, she just kind of stayed in her little bed. Uh, she did have a good poop this morning. I know, too much information, but it, all, it, it seemed like it made her feel better because she was a little bit more lively. Um, yeah, I put her down some fresh water. I gave her a saltine that she did not eat. And somebody said, for the next are you giving a dog a cracker? She didn't really eat it. But you know how it is when you have an unsettled stomach. So I'm hoping that she probably ate like a bite of it. Um, so I'm hoping when I get home, she did drink plenty of water. Hope when I get home, she'll feel a little better, but we'll see. But I think again, she just needed a good poop. Like, whew, maybe her nerves made her stomach upset. I don't know. So we're gonna see if she gonna like this chicken. I might, uh, I don't think she needs the broth because she hasn't been throwing up or anything, but uh, yeah. But yesterday we were outside because the sun did come out a little bit yesterday morning and the little bit of time that we were in there, we, outside maybe 15 minutes, my allergies started to act up. I don't see the green yet, but in my backyard, it felt like I, you know, I inhaled it and it got stuck in my lungs and I could kind of feel it when I was sleeping last night. My allergies are so weird now. They, um, 
make me feel like I have a cold. It's not just like, okay, I'm starting to sneeze and I, you know, itchy, watery eyes. No, I breathe it in. I can feel my lungs like, okay, saying, all right, we're about to get sick. Um, we've been getting a lot of rain. Today, it looks like it's about to start raining again. It's kind of sort of sunny out here. Yeah, but just going to run into, inside of um, Sprouts real quick. I haven't been anywhere. Like I said, I haven't really been online. Um, might run into uh, turn seven, maybe depending on how I feel when I get out of here. Yeah. So did y'all feel the earthquake, y'all? Did y'all feel anything where you were? Magnolia told me she didn't feel it where she lives. Uh, my brother was telling me that as far as Boston, maybe, people felt the, the, the little tremor we had. But I was telling Mirabella, we went to her lessons the other day. And I don't think I've talked to you guys since that horrible bridge accident. And, you know, I've been across the bridge a few times, but I know everybody has, when they have to cross a bridge, everybody has that on their mind. Because I think we are maybe a week out from that bridge accident and those poor people who lost their lives, those families. And I really haven't heard a lot about those families with the exception of, I think everybody that they uh, have found and have been unaccounted for uh, worked were workers and that's just horrible to me. I've heard the names and I think I heard a little bit about one young man who might have been a family man with wife and children um, but that was horrible wasn't it? But could you imagine being on a bridge when that earthquake happened? I wondered could you feel it? Wow. Yeah y'all. Yeah so what y'all been up to? What have y'all been up to? Everybody's talking about the earthquake. And everybody just went into a hallway and all like, are you feeling this? What's going on? We saw like some some of the doors vibrating, shaking. Yeah, I saw my door shake. Like, what's going on? Yeah. So we just went in and like, everybody just went in and like, my door, I have double doors in my bedroom and they were ch 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 like going back and forth. And they're like, yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah, the news is happy. Our news has been on since it happened this morning. But some people felt it and some people didn't. Artie said he did not feel it. But he said that I think the young lady in his shipping department, she did feel it. So I guess it was um, particular, you know, you had to be in a particular space to feel it. He said his guys in his warehouse did not feel it. Oh, Huntington County. Okay. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let me run inside of Sprouts real quick. Okay, guys. Uh, all right, we are back. I think I'm too tired to go to turn seven. So what I'm gonna do is y'all is put turn seven's video here from last week that I never uploaded. That way I can clear my phone out. So y'all go check out what I bought from turn seven a few days ago because I'm too tired to go now, okay? Okay, Adina, come through. Another day and guess what? The sun is out. Hallelujah. Uh, went inside of turn seven, but I came out with $15 worth of stuff. Let me show y'all real quick. If I find these online, I will show you because I know I'm all crammed up right here. But I found myself a cute pair of shorts. They like psychedelic in a pretty orange and yellow and pink. It's giving me 70s vibe um, from Ava and Viv. The original price on these were $17, but I paid uh, $2.50. They were $5 inside of turn seven. And they are really cute. I bet you they had a top to match this. I just didn't take the time to look. They had a big shipment of summer tops. They had a big shipment of swimsuits, tops and bottom. I mean, like a whole bunch of them, so. And they had them all for $5. Now, I don't know if the swimsuits are uh, half off or not, but if you need a swimsuit, $5 in there. Then I picked up this big cozy sweatshirt and look at that. It looks like the sea, doesn't it? I'm thinking about something like this 
speaking it into existence, going to the beach. You know how it is when you on the water and it's chilly? Yeah. Or if you're out in Vegas and it's chilly. Uh, I could have used this at nighttime, seriously. This is from the Active Wear brand. I paid $2.50 for this. And if I find uh, you know, a picture on it online, I will show you guys. Um, but it's in, it's a pretty aqua color. It looks like the sea to me, pretty blues. And it's a tie dye and it goes down to a uh, seafoam like green. Yeah. Uh, and it fits like a dress. So this can be a beach cover up or something you can wear to the beach. But for $2.50, yes, ma'am, thank you. Okay, and then I picked up this. This actually matches. It's an actually jogging set that I picked up. Y'all, they had these pants for $5. That's from that same brand that's in Target. And then we can see, we can find it online, okay? Oh no, this is Lane Bryant. Oh, okay, so this is a Lane Bryant. Turn seven, getting more stuff in. So uh, I'll look on Lane Bryant's website to see if, if I can find this. $2.50 for a pair of jogging pants. Cute little brand. This jacket, y'all, they say this jacket inside the store was $69.95 and I believe it because y'all know Lane Bryant is high. Yeah, that's really cute. So I found the matching jacket and look, it has a cute little uh, rose gold little emblem on it. If you familiar with Lane Bryant, y'all probably can let me know. Like I said, I really don't shop in Lane Bryant like that. It has a cute little um, tie with the metal ends, but just a jacket. I'll show y'all a picture here again, because me just kind of being up and close in the personal in the uh, camera, y'all not able to see it. So that's a cute little jogging set for $5, okay? And then two more items, because I only spent $15 total, no tax. I found these shorts. It reminds me of my grandma. This color uh, is very 80s to me. It's giving me Golden Girls. It's a peach and blue and cream, but just a pair of shorts. Now these did come from uh, inside of uh, Target. Original use, they were $22. And I picked them up for $2.50. So that's like 90% off. A little uh, over 90% off by a couple of cents. Yeah, I picked up in my size. And they were cute. I went in the corner and tried them on. And it's editing Frugal Nista here. Y'all, these are men's shorts. And guess what? I will gladly pass them over to Art for $2.50. I like because they are a nice, you know, relaxed fit. But it's definitely giving me 80s vibes. Yeah, it's giving me grandma chic and then i pick up these tie-dye shorts cute little pocket on the back i'm so glad i picked these up even though they're men's shorts art will be wearing these look at the model so nice very relaxed fit even though i can wear them art will be glad to get these and y'all for two dollars and fifty cents in art size oh yeah this is a deal yeah and this is just a uh tie-dye green really cute green i have a top that kind of matches that and look it has a little pocket in the back i'll show y'all these here also so i have two pair of shorts for five bucks yeah so not bad for Benista, 15 dollars. i went inside of burlington at first and i found this cute barbie doll so cute y'all will know about this sooner than later and this is barbie number 171 or is she 177? No, 177. And this is a dark haired Barbie. And she is giving me all kinds of ethnicity. And I love her. Isn't she cute, y'all? Barbie 177. She has a cute little flower dress on. I don't know, something about her little face. I just fell in love with her face. She has beautiful black hair and her little olive skin. So pretty. And her shoes, she has on a pair of purple heels, strappy heels that match the purple flowers in her dress. And y'all, this was $4.99, which is a good price for it, okay? So I picked up that from Burlington, went in there, see if I find Jersey some treats. Uh, speaking of Jersey, I picked her up her chicken. 
and we will kind of eat that also. Y'all know how I do. Um, I picked up this cinnamon walnut coffee cake for this weekend. That would be great with some tea. I actually have a taste for some tea. So I might go home and have a slice of that with my lemon. I needed lemon, so I picked up two lemons inside of there. You have two lemons. I also picked up three bananas. I'm not going crazy, but just like for the weekend, because I don't feel like going to Aldi either. We have orange juice at home, so we got some uh, breakfast food, if nothing else. I picked up some berries. Mirabella loves berries, so I picked up the raspberries and the blackberries. She can make a granola bowl. I also picked up some strawberries. I picked up some of the red grapes. The green grapes were too mushy. These aren't as mushy. I like my grapes to be like crisp and hard, actually. The best place I always get grapes is my uh, Sam's Club. And I picked up these bagels. This is the Dave's Killer Bread. 12 whole grain. Y'all, this is a sweet cinnamon uh, and raisin. Yeah, smells good. We can eat that because, again, we're going to leave out early so the, the family can just kind of grab something and go. So that was all I picked up, y'all. Wait a minute. Oh, I picked up some cookies also, some chocolate chip cookies. Sprouts cookies are always so good. Even the vegan cookies are good, y'all. Okay, so we'll put this back. And get ourselves on home. Like I said, Mirabella is out with her little friends. They went to, um, jumping place like a sky zone place they her one little thing i think is bored at home mirabella did get away which is good i'll put the chicken right here i'll put it right there yeah this is just so cute and look at her little eyebrows thick eyebrows love that empowering the next generation through play yes y'all have to fun and play with me mm -hmm. I'm going to let y'all know about that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let's get home. Uh, go home and check on Jersey. I hope she's okay. My brother was like, uh, take her to the vet. And I said, Jersey's going to have to you know, heal herself. She might have eaten something she shouldn't have. Uh, we have to be so careful with Jersey because she does eat table food. And sometimes if you drop something, she is Johnny on the spot to pick it up. So I just hope whatever it is passed out of her system that is nothing, you know, too serious. Okay, let me say goodbye to you guys. Um, I did stop in Dollar Tree. All Dollar Tree's Easter candy was half off. I cannot re resist some cotton candy. I went in there to pick up my Mystic. My Dollar Tree is still a $1.25, uh, but I picked up some Kiwi Strawberry and also picked up the Blueberry Blast. And I picked up some of my little uh, apple juices. We like these, the Martinelli. So I picked up four of these and a whole bunch of the Mystic. Now they didn't have my grape strawberry, but that's okay. And what else I picked up in there? I picked Mirabella up some goldfish. I picked up a Twix. Y'all can tell I'm hungry. Y'all know I'm into the dolls now. So I picked up some authentic Barbie stuff. Look how cute. This is Barbie little sunglasses, necklaces, and uh, a headband for $1.25. Then I picked up some Barbie shoes. Y'all will understand why in a few short days, if the sun would act right, you'd understand sooner. I picked up some Texas Pete. And then y'all picked up a bunch of nails. Now Dollar Tree is coming through with the uh, nails now. They have the, oh, I picked up this little Barbie purses, okay. Then make sure y'all on because I think I'm on zero percent. Oops. 
Yeah, the rest of those are my drinks. So I picked up about eight of the strawberry and five of the blueberry, which is fine. But I told y'all Dollar Tree is in on the nails. These pretty women, this pretty woman nails are cute. There are only 12 of these. Okay. Um, so cute. I like that. The gold and white, all those pretty colors. And as you see, I need to put them on my hand. Then I picked up this one, which is looks so springtimey. Little strawberries, French manicure, little uh, Cuban manicure. That's what we used to call a Cuban manicure right here back in the day. I used to wear my nails like that all the time when I lived in Miami. Uh, yeah, love those. And then y'all know they sell these in Walmart. This is the pretty woman also faux nail. And these were just fire, I thought. Look at that design. They look really nice. And this is 24 nails with the glue. It has a, a black with a swirl and then a chocolate. So it looks very, very uh, like I've been to the salon in them, okay? And it's a matte color. So I picked up three packs of those. And I think that's it, guys. Everything I picked up from Dollar Tree from Burlington from Walgreens and y'all saw what I picked up last week from Turn 7. So it's a car hauling day for the Fruganista. Thank y'all so much for watching. I want to let you guys know that I love you because I haven't told y'all that in a long time and I hope you guys are being safe out there. All right. Talk to you later. Jazz hands. Bye guys.